Okay, so I've just booted up a fresh copy of Debian Orange Pi OS because I want to do an update on my Orange Pi. I had a comment from RevGen11 and it was about the new version of Ubuntu for Orange Pi 5. And this is a version that Joshua has done and it is really impressive. And at this time it was 1.9, but if we go to the GitHub, it's now on 1.10. And I was just having a look at some of the changes and one thing really interested me. Boot from SD card, USB, NVMe or SATA SSD. It's the USB bit. I haven't seen USB boot on an Orange Pi 5 yet and I thought it would be really interesting to try it. And when I did some digging, it looks like USB support was just added yesterday and this is on February the 17th. So I need to update the bootloader. So let's close this down and go to settings. Orange Pi config and system and security and you can see here install update bootloader. So let's try like I did before in my Fido S video install update the bootloader on SPI flash and yes. Now nothing seems to happen while it's doing this we can see a little square flashing on the top left hand corner of that box. Okay so it's moved back to the previous screen so it's all done. So let's close that down and go back to here. So to download this version, just go to the Ubuntu Orange Pi page, go to releases, and you can see 1.10 is the latest release. And there's two versions. This one's the one with the desktop environment. So just click on that and that will download. I've already downloaded it. Now let's see what we can write this image with. So I've got Belena actually, let's give that a try. And let's plug in a SATA SSD drive. I'm using a CSL cable. I can't find my Ugreen one, which is the one I often use. Uh, so let's plug that in. So let's flash from file. Go to downloads and click on the file and open. This is my drive, uh, just to show you what I've selected. So this is my 60 gig drive. Uh, my operating system is running from a 64 gig SD card. So let's hit select and flash and come back when that's all done. Okay, so something went wrong. I might need to unzip the file. So let's cancel that. So let's find the folder. Downloads. Right click it and open. I'm used to Raspberry Pi Imager, which doesn't need any unzipping. Okay, so that's not worked. Uh, just gonna see if I can install Raspberry Pi Imager. No, unable to locate package, apt install and archiver. Brilliant. Okay, I don't really use the Debian version of Orange Pi OS, so I'm gonna unzip it on my Mac. Okay, so it's just finishing up, and yeah, that's unzipped successfully. I'm gonna put that on a USB stick and put it back in the Orange Pi. And let's open up Belena Etcher again. Flash from file, downloads, and this is the new image, 10.7 gig. Just check that it's the right drive, 60 gig drive, select and flash. Linux isn't really well supported by the official Orange Pi images, but uh, we've got Ambient and we've got this version of Ubuntu, which are excellent. Okay, so that didn't work. Uh, it wouldn't boot from the USB drive. So I've written the image to an SD card. And as you can see, that's booted up because it looks like there's another step you have to do to boot from USB. So if we go back to the GitHub, and we scroll down. There's an option here for NVMe and SATA drives and you can see there's some text. So let's copy this text, open a terminal and paste that in and hit return. And pop your password in. You don't get any progress when this is happening but it is doing something. And around four minutes later you get this come up. So let's close all this down and shut down Ubuntu. Eject the SD card and pop it into a little USB adapter and then plug it into the USB in here and switch on. Oh, we have a signal on my capture device and it's booting up. So this is USB boot on the Orange Pi 5. Just need to now transfer it over to this drive. Okay, so I've booted up Ambient 
on an SD card and I've got a little USB hub plugged in just because it's easier to plug and unplug uh, USB devices but my SD card in a USB adapter is in here so that's ready to copy over I'm hoping GNOME Dist is on here already okay so let's press the Windows key and start typing GNOME and GNOME Dist comes up so this is my 32 gig drive this is the one that the operating system is running on and this is a removable drive which is the one I want to back up so let's click on this and create disk image probably ought to call that USB Ubuntu and start creating oh no space left on oh of course I've got <laughs> I've got a 32 gig operating system and I'm trying to back up because it, it, it won't shrink it uh, I'm used to the Raspberry Pi version which will properly shrink it and everything so yeah I'm gonna have to try an operating system where I've got more space on it so let's close that down this is going well well hopefully this works I'm back on Orange Pi OS because this is on a 64 gig stick so I should have enough space oh it looks like it might okay so that's installed let's try and run it GNOME disks and click on that and launch yeah right we might be alright so 32 gig this is the drive I want to back up so let's go create disk image USB Ubuntu start creating okay so there must be enough space because it's doing it so I'll come back when that's all done so no messages when it finishes it just goes back to this screen so let's go to file manager and documents it said it was going to save it in and here it is and how big is that yeah 30 gig so let's unplug that and plug in this 60 gig drive and go back to known disks and see if we can write it with that so yeah there's my 60 gig drive so what have I got restore disk image image to restore yeah that's the image USB Ubuntu and open the image is smaller than the target device I don't mind that start restoring and restore okay eight minutes I'm gonna do some painting okay so it's failed twice now uh, so I think we're gonna try Belena Etcher uh, so Belena Etcher flash from file documents USB Ubuntu so on my 60 gig drive and flash third time lucky okay so that last attempt didn't work uh, so basically I'm trying to back up this SD card uh, onto this SSD drive now I did actually have success with this Samsung bar which is a 64 gig USB stick and basically copied the operating system over to this and it worked I'm just going to try the same method with this SSD drive so I'm using my Raspberry Pi 4 using my version of KDE Plasma and let's have a look at that so let's start GNOME disks again and so all I did was to click on the drive that I wanted to back up this is the SD card click on create disk image and then just did start creating and that image is on the desktop here so now I need to unplug this drive and plug in my 60 gig SSD drive so you can see it shows up so I can click on that I can click on restore disk image and then go to my desktop and open and start restoring and restore and let's come back when that's all done and hopefully it'll work as I say it's working on the Samsung bar which is a USB device so I don't quite know why it wouldn't work on a SATA device I'm also using my CSL cable which is very compatible okay so that should have written the operating system to this drive now so let's shut down my Pi Raspberry Pi and transfer this all over 
So switch off. Let that drive this drive. Okay, let's switch on. And hopefully the green light will start flashing fairly soon. No, definitely doesn't like it. So I'm just going to try my other SATA cable just in case. So try it with a shorter one. No, nope, also doesn't work with this shorter one either. But if I turn it off, plug in the USB stick, which is written in exactly the same way, 64 gig USB, Samsung bar, switch it on, and it started to flash and it's turned on my screen. And if I log in, uh, the default password is Ubuntu. You can see that it's working absolutely fine from USB. So USB boot is working, but it doesn't like my USB SATA cables, which all work on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's certainly nowhere near as easy as uh, USB boot on a Raspberry Pi, which is pretty much write an operating system and boot it up. But obviously the Raspberry Pi has been out for a lot longer. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.